A temporary sigh of relief tonight for people whose parents brought them into the country illegally as kids. Today, the U.S. Supreme Court rejected a request from the Trump administration to consider the fate of the DACA program before an appeals court takes up that case. Chris 6 News anchor Priscilla Torres has the response of one teacher who relies on DACA. It's so stressful. You're living your life two years at a time, pretty much. Teacher and DACA recipient Karen Reyes says the Supreme Court's decision was a small victory in a fight she spent most of her life in. I think this decision um, is good for right now. You know, it allows a lot more people to continue to send in their renewals, which for the longest time a lot of us couldn't. Karen moved to the United States at the age of two with her mother, grew up in the public school system, and is now a public school teacher herself. And she isn't the only one living day to day. Almost 700,000 people in the U.S. are in the DACA program. Karen says the Supreme Court's decision is a victory, but there's still much more that needs to be done. I do still think that we do need a permanent solution, you know, uh, for all those DACA recipients like myself. We need um, a permanent solution that includes a pathway towards citizenship. Priscilla Torres, Chris, 6 News.